I'd like to talk to <laughs> to Stan in Nevada. Stan uh, says here that uh, you think there's an argument to be made that some Bible verses are supposed to be a joke. You're on the air with Christy and yeah. Johnny P. <laughs> hey, Christy, Johnny. Yeah, I well, an inside joke. Uh, I, I like. I feel like I, I I can imagine at the the um excuse me, the Nicene Conference where they're writing the Bible, they go, hey, let's put this in. No one will get it. And just kind of, you know, roll their heads back and laugh. And for me, that's uh, 1 Corinthians 2.9, uh, which is, I have not seen, no, I'm sorry? No, no, go ahead. So I, I don't remember, I don't recall that. I was, I, you're, you're reading it. So please read it. What do you got? What is it? Oh, sure. Yeah, I, I well, I don't have it memorized, but it, but it was, yeah, it's, it's Corinthians 2 9. I has not seen nor has ear heard what God has prepared in the kingdom of heaven. Um, and to me, it's okay. Well, I cannot see nor can ear hear. Like, by definition, nothing. You can't witness it. So, um, what, well, you know, what's to, yeah. I mean, I mean, yeah, you can what was funny that nothing has been created. 1700 years ago like that's a yeah that's a challenging thing to wrap your mind around like just the the culture and everything <clears throat> else of it it does make me kind of wonder all right so maybe this was a joke maybe it wasn't what uh what do you do with that information stan like where where do you go uh with the belief that some of these things were meant to be not taken seriously yeah well, I want to verify my position. I'm not an atheist, or I'm an, I'm an atheist. I'm not mm -hmm. a theist. Sure. Um, <clears throat> so, you know, the, and but I was a biblical scholar, you know, growing up. Um, and so what I kind of have found is that whether you want to or not, the argument of uh, whether a God exists is always going to go back to the Bible. And, and so I can, you know, just kind of pull out of my hat you know, a couple of instances where it's like, okay, well, if you believe in the literal Bible, this is what is said by, you know, Jesus, this is what is said in Matthew or, or whatever, like, um, blessed are the meek for they will inherit the earth. Like, that just means you're going into the ground. Like, like that's the literal transition of that. Like, you know, um, or, you know, if you, what was it, um, John fourteen twelve, I think, says if you believe in, in Jesus and the things that he done, he's done, that you can achieve the same and greater. So if you can't raise the dead and, you know, make a thousand fish out of, out of one fish and, you know, feed the mm -hmm. masses with, what was it, two fish and a loaf of bread, you know, you either don't believe enough or it's not true. Well, I, I, I think, <laughs> I don't know. I, I get what you're saying. I don't think that, that I'm convinced that it was a joke or any of that stuff. I think that they were trying to convey information as they saw it or trying to make a case for believing in, in, in Jesus and, and friends. So I don't know. Um, but it's, it's an interesting thing to, to, to look at. It's a, it's a, a an interesting perspective to have. Um, but that's, sure. I think that's all I got. I, I, I you know, whether what was in the mind of the biblical writers and the framers of the canon curators, um, we'll never know, right? Yeah. Yeah. We'll yeah. never, we'll never really know. We can, we can make some suppositions, but um, yeah. Well, thanks, thanks for your call, Stan. Um, that's an in yeah. interesting thing to think about. I'm gonna look for some for some jokes in there too, if I can find some. You take care, okay? Nothing kills at a cocktail party better than ancient poetry.